Hello everybody. A lot of you ask about forward head posture. There's so many things I can talk about with forward head posture. Today we are going to talk about a new journal article that's out July of 2022. It is comparison of sensory motor integration and skill related physical fitness components between college athletes with and without forward head posture. Okay, so forward head posture, what is it? First of all, you know what I'm you know what I'm talking about here. You're on the phone, your head goes forward, or you see that old dude like this, or the guy's been to grad school again and again and again, and that that you know, that lawyer that's like this, right? So is that bad, right? I mean, we know that the head goes forward, it's going to put pressure on the discs. The muscles back here are going to have to work like crazy. The skull is going to go in extension and change cerebrospinal fluid. It's going to affect the jaw, all kinds of things, right? Balance, you name it. But what about just athletic ability? What if you're asymptomatic, right? You don't have anything wrong with you. You're an athlete, you're in college. How is that going to affect you? So this is a wonderful study uh, in, a, in a top tier journal of sport rehabilitation. And what they did is they tested four different metrics. Okay, so you have 50 people in the forward head posture group, 50 people in the non forward head posture group, asymptomatic, no pain athletes, right? And they looked at four things. One is they did uh, what's called a T-sprint test, right? Where you, you sprint 10 meters this way, then you go five meters this way, then you go 10 meters back, then five meters to the middle, and then 10 meters this way. And you time it, right? Then there was a stork balance test, right? So um, you're, you're basically standing and seeing how long you can, you can do this based on stimuli that's given to you. And then they looked at a vertical leap, just a pure vertical jump. <clears throat> and then there was a dynamic uh, stretching balance test. So these are things that um, really athletes rely on. So <clears throat> a volleyball player needs to jump up to the net, right? A, a, a football player needs to grab the ball. A basketball player, <clears throat> excuse me, needs to get that rebound, right? So what's happening here, right? And is there a difference? So. The interesting thing is, check this out. I mean, it's it's so good because, you know, with chiropractic, you can go and you can get your spine adjusted and it's great, but when you find someone that does correction, right? When it says, okay, there's an X-ray or there's an analysis that shows you here and then in six months, we're gonna have you here and we're gonna keep you there. That's, that's the kind of chiropractic where when I was in school, it was more segmental, but now we're moving way hard and fast into full correction, full spinal correction, looking at the spine as a whole. The two chiropractic techniques I recommend for corrective type care are one is CBP or chiropractic biophysics, and the other is called the Pedibon system. You can go on their websites and see a chiropractor in your area that'll do this type of correction. If you don't have it, you can take some x-rays, you can do a telehealth call with me, and we can work you through the home care in a very pointed, directed, intellectual way. What they found out in this sprint test is the people who had the forward head posture were actually 10% slower on the sprint test, right? Think about that, okay? So you're an athlete and you're going for a division one school, but you end up at a community college. Maybe it's because of the forward head posture, right? Then you had the vertical leap. The vertical leap is interesting, right? Again, you're a volleyball player and you've got to get up, you've got to get the rebound, you've got to get the, um, the ability to catch the football. And what happens? Nine centimeters less in the forward head posture group. It's amazing. Then there was the stork balance test. And in fact, the people who didn't have the forward head posture could stand up for a couple seconds longer. Right, the dynamic stretch test also showed improvement, right? This is amazing, right? So, so let's say you're, so what, what happens is, is they're, they're testing sensory motor signals, right? They actually have a way of testing the signals that go up to the brain, right? You get a sensation, let's say you get a pin prick, and that's a sensory motor signal that goes up into the brain, and then the brain sends um, a, a signal back to the motor cortex, or which, is, which allows you to move, and you pull your hand away from the pin, right? So imagine you get a sensory signal of an uneven surface 
uh, on a step, maybe you're in a cobblestone, maybe you're visiting a foreign country with cobblestones, or maybe you're on a field that's uneven, um, and and your your brain gets this signal of this your your ankle is going in the wrong way. Boom, the signal goes up and it goes back, right? And then you're allowed to make that change, right? This is showing, and there's also studies on the spinal curve and and uh, nerve conduction velocity in the spinal cord with this with the um, cervical curve. But this is showing you're better off if you're not here. You're going to adapt and improvise and overcome and not get injured because that head is back over the shoulders. It's incredible. So if you think you're a good athlete, you're a great mountain biker, you're a great whatever, and you wanna be a better athlete, you get that head back over your shoulders like this and you're, you're way better off. So I want you to think about, you're probably under chiropractic care or you probably, I want you to get that chiropractor that can fix that curve. And you're probably at a computer studying or on your computer, on your phone like this, and your head is forward, fix those ergonomics, right? Take care of, you are the captain of your ship, right? You are precious. Take care of yourself and let's move away from that forward head posture and see your athletic performance and your human performance go way up. We love it. All right. Good talking to you guys today. Let's keep taking care of ourselves with self-care, which is hands-on, high-quality healthcare.